What's up everyone, it's your boy Norbrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video you know what time it is. It is finally time to rank the Insidious franchise. I went through the whole franchise and reviewed each of the films individually so I'll have playlists in the description down below if you want to go check out my in-depth thoughts on any particular film. But like I said, today we're just going to talk about the rankings so you're going to get from me kind of why they are, where they're at in the ranking, and like I said, find out which one's the bottom and which is the top dog. So stay tuned. Let's do this. Roll it. So we currently have five films in the Insidious franchise, and yes, today you're going to hear my ranking, and this is just my thoughts, my opinions, that means I would love to hear from all of you down below in the comments, drop your ranking in there so we can discuss and everything, and we have all different opinions, that's okay, we're all different, it doesn't mean we have to argue or fight or nothing like that, it's all just personal taste and all subjective and all that kind of stuff, so let's get into this. Coming in at the bottom of the barrel for me is going to be Insidious Chapter 3, and this one for me is just the weakest one in terms of acting and story that I really just didn't enjoy, and this is the one that I feel like in the franchise, I discussed it in my review, is the one I feel like I can pluck out of the franchise, and I just, it wouldn't change a thing. There are references to it in The Last Key, and you do hear of it, and you get more on Elisa's background, and it builds on her character, but I just don't find this one that enjoyable, so Insidious Chapter 3 sits here at the number five spot. Now this wouldn't be a Norn Rad 89 ranking list if there wasn't some controversy involved and number four is gonna be Insidious, the very first film. And I know there's a lot of people freaking out, probably ready to just click that unsubscribe button right now. But yes, Insidious, if you go back to my reviews, like this is a film that I'm really not that high on. I actually think the very first film is kind of overrated in some aspects. I respect what it did for the subgenre and what it did for horror, and it set up a universe that I do enjoy as a whole, but I think the first film isn't that strong of a film. And one thing for sure is I think for Ryan uh, from RWR Reviews, he let me know that it kind of feels like Insidious, the first one, and Chapter 2 are just one big film split into two. So I, I can see enjoying it like that, watching it both films right away together like as one huge event and I would probably definitely enjoy it and it would pay off and I would commit to that but Insidious yeah I'm kind of bored for the first act and I wish we can just get to the second act and then into the third act and then yeah Insidious chapter two you're gonna find a lot higher up on my list so you know already I have a lot more fun with that entry now rolling in and our number three spot is gonna be Insidious the Red Door the most recent entry in the franchise and this is one that in terms of expectations in terms of my feelings going into the film, I thought this was just going to be straight up trash or a dumpster fire it was going to be awful. And I think that might have actually helped my enjoyment because I enjoyed the film. I liked the story they took us on. I liked the fact that it shows there's consequences and repercussions from their decisions at the end of Insidious Chapter 2 and what carries on into Red Door. I know this one's a very much more a character study. It's very much a slow burn type film, but... Patrick Wilson as a director chair and being his first film directing, I think he did a fantastic job in terms of direction and building an atmosphere for this film because I was sucked into it. I was committed and really was invested in Josh and Dalton's characters and where it was going to go by the time we got to that third act. So I think it was a really good film. It's not a perfect film. Here are my thoughts. Go Like I said, go back and check out my Rad Movie Review on it. It's not a perfect film, but I had a lot more fun with it than the other two lower on the list. Now coming in at our number two spot, runner up to the top dog is going to be Insidious, The Last Key. And for me, I might be kind of a little biased in terms of I really do love Lynn Shea's character. And this one focuses on, it's a prequel and it focuses mainly on her, on her backstory. And like I said, it has to do with a lot of trauma that she dealt with as a child. So I like that. We build a lot more on her character and everything. So I really have a lot of fun with that. And be it that it takes place in New Mexico, you know, that family to me I'm from New Mexico so there's just a lot to love about this film I like the design of the monster and I think this is the film that I feel one of the biggest stakes like threat I feel like there's a big threat there's big stakes and stuff going on besides the number one film we're going to talk about pretty soon this one has like a threat level and I feel like you know people are in danger even though we know Elise is not going to die because it's a prequel film 
I feel in danger for other characters around her and stuff like that. So I really do enjoy The Last Key, and this was a fantastic surprise in the franchise for me. Now coming in at our number one spot, The Top Dog. I know this one's not really any secret if you've been keeping up with my rad movie reviews because I discuss this one a lot and I mention it a lot. Is Insidious Chapter 2. I have so much fun with this one. I think the actors and the acting is some of the best in this one. And I like the just the journey they take us on. And like I said, in terms of a threat level and feeling stakes in the film, this is another one like The Last Key where I feel like a danger for the characters. And when Insidious Chapter 2 came out, we really didn't know what was going to happen. So I thought, you know, Patrick Wilson, like, were the, were the kids going to have to kill him? Like, was the mom going to have to kill him in front of the kids? Like, all this kind of stuff I like was going through my mind in terms of what can take place in this film. And I do enjoy the third act. And I don't think it hurts the film that much that we already know as, you know, an audience that, you know, Patrick Wilson has taken over and stuff like that. And it's kind of the other characters that have to figure out throughout the film and like the mystery, but we're already in on the mystery. I don't think that hurts the film at all. Like I've noticed that's a thing like Insidious with the franchise. When we get to Red Door, it's a common theme where we as audience members know more than the characters. And for me, I enjoy that sometimes. If you handle it correctly and you hone your film right and you write it correctly and you got strong characters, that really works inside of a movie. So Insidious Chapter 2, yeah, is clearly the number one top dog in the franchise. For me, it's the top two. Insidious um, Chapter 2 and Last Key are definitely my favorites, two that I think are really good films. Red Door is solid, but I know it has some flaws. And then the other two, I think, are kind of, you know, Insidious, that first film, I respect it because of the franchise and what it started, but I think it's kind of overrated. And then Insidious Chapter 3, I think, is just, that's... I don't like I don't really want to return to that one. That one I could probably forget about. I don't want to watch that one again. But thank you for sticking around with me all for this video and this ranking video and committing to binging the franchise with me if you were along for the ride. And like I said earlier, let me know in the comments what you're ranking because this is just my thoughts, my opinions. It's just my ranking. This isn't the right one. This isn't the final ranking or the best of the best or nothing like that. So like I said, please let me know down below so we can discuss. Be sure to like, subscribe, have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.